Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here. Camper's in in Jacksonville, but I'm down here at the Tampa show. I've got Todd Schmidt from the factory. We're going to go ahead and do a walk-around video feature benefit for the 26RB, and this is the Embrace Ultralight. So, uh, Todd, Hi, appreciate Todd Schmitz from Embrace. I appreciate you uh, joining me. And uh, listen, folks, if this is the first time you're on my channel, please do subscribe like and comment let me know what you're thinking of the floor plan so let's get on to the fun stuff okay so todd why don't you start us off up here in the front area let us know what the features are and the benefits of what you guys are doing here well some of the key features that we have on the front of the 26 rb embrace is the power tongue jack of course makes it real easy to hook up to your truck and get on the road we've also got the vault system which is color-coded wiring it also has a diagram with all your 12 volt wiring in there and your battery disconnect so that's a nice feature in case you have any problems you can be able to track that down uh, we're also prepped uh, for solar up on the roof so we've got a 30 amp controller here this is a smart controller doesn't matter what kind of battery you use whether it's a wet cell agm or lithium this will uh, charge that accordingly we've got a huge amount of pass-through motion sensor light uh, we've also got your solar disconnect here so you can put all your camping stuff in here great place and it also comes with the slam latch baggage door so it's easy to close held up by a nice uh, magnet so real easy to work with now i noticed you said the solar disconnect does this also have a regular battery disconnect as well uh yes that's going to be on the bolt okay that okay. sounds good also on the embrace we have the power on it with the led light strip we've got your outside speakers it's also set up to put your tv out here if you want to watch a game on the weekend gotcha now is it an option to have a bracket to install the tv on the wall i uh, know your uh, campers in dealership would have to do that okay so that's something we can do after the fact makes it easy we've okay. also got an enclosed heated underbelly with a dedicated heat duct so every time the furnace comes on you're going to get heat down into your tanks perfect and then i guess one of the biggest differences on this is what we have in the back and we'll show us what what that is yeah one of the nice things that we have on this 26 rb couples coach is going to be this outside kitchen you're going to have your outside refrigerator and you're also going to have your griddle the nice thing about this you can cook breakfast lunch or dinner on one, one utility okay so now okay so on the back here i notice you don't have a ladder and why why is that um, because we have the Lippert on-the-go uh, ladder prep, the nice thing about that ladder is it hooks on here, easy to get up on your roof and check your seals, but you can also use that ladder at home, and it's capable of holding up to 300 pounds. We've also got the Well, but see, but uh, hold on, Todd, but that ladder, that's pretty tall. How are, where are you going to store that thing? Um, so it folds down into about a three-foot area. You can put it through in your pasture, and like I said, the nice thing is you can use it at home. Okay, good. I just want to make the, people think, you know, a ladder, you know, you're thinking about, it, you know, it's being tall, but right. I just want to make sure people understood. Yeah, it folds it's, down real easy in just a three-foot compact area. Beautiful. And we've also got the rear observation camera. The nice thing about this camera is not only is it going to let you see what's going on when you're backing up, but it's also going to let you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. That's awesome. And then I see you also have your connections back here and a little sprayer port. Yep, we do have a sprayer port, um, and that's standard on the Embrace. Okay. It also comes standard with 50 amp service on all the floor plans that we build, and of course your spare tire is standard. So since it's a 50 amp service, that means you're wired and framed for a second AC. That is correct. That is awesome. Well, that nice. Okay, Todd, I think we're over the boring stuff. Why don't we go inside and take a look at some of the cool stuff? Okay, that sounds real good. Of course, one of the things you're going to see right away, obviously a ton of counter space in the kitchen. You've also got your cutting board over your sink. All the units come with a 12-volt, 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. They also all come standard with a smart TV. You've also got your sound bar. And the other thing that's really neat about the Embrace is they all come with the exclusive air fryer oven. This is just like the air fryer you use at home. It doesn't matter if you're cooking pizza, wings, french fries. This is going to do it faster and it's going to do it better than any other camp you have. That, that, is, that is something that is definitely unique. Um, and I like the way that you have set up this kitchen here. Definitely is different. But now, it doesn't look like you have uh, like a place like to put like pots and pans and and things well we've got some huge drawers here you can put whatever you want there you've also got a nice area on the side well you know th this kitchen is awesome i said but yeah, i guess the one thing people would probably be saying is what about a pantry do you have any pantry space i'm glad you brought that up 
right here by the entrance door, you've got a huge pantry closet. Oh, that um, has a sensor light. Shell, shelves. It's also got a motion sensor light. Um, tons of area to put stuff, and it's right by the door, so it's easy to load from your household. Oh, I see. This is where you have everything out of sight, out of, out of mind, so in case you have little Johnny here, it's not going to be messing with those switches. That's correct. The other thing that's really cool about this unit is our Stormore dinette. Uh, these dinette cushions are attached. You don't have to worry about them falling on the floor, but it's easy access to your storage underneath your booth. That's, that is definitely another unique factor with this um, floor plan. We've also got a tri-fold sofa, um, so that makes into a full-size bed. So if you have friends come over, there's a place for them to sleep. So Todd, how hard is it to uh, open up that tri-fold sofa? Um, it's really pretty easy. All you've got to do is grab the back cushions and remove those. You can just put those off to the side. You just lift this up, take these legs, open that. Just put it down here. And then just come back and flip down this back part, and you're ready to... So there's no more bars in, the, in your back anymore, like those old-time old, old -time sofa beds? Nope, you just need your pillows and some blankets, and you're ready to go. And even with that right in front of the TV here, I guess you can just put these cushions back up against the wall? Yep, and if you, you want to look access there. to the bathroom, you can still get in and out of the unit, and you're not obstructing any area over That's here. That's awesome. So how easy does it go away? Uh, same thing. You just basically reverse the process. Okay. And I noticed there's a little bit of room in there, under under there, uh, so you can put some pillows and blankets yep. if need be. Store stuff in there. Just fold that down. Grab your cushions. And you're ready to have your coffee in the morning and watch some news. Awesome. Okay, Todd, let's talk about this bathroom. Yeah, this bathroom in this 26 RB is huge. You've got a ton of counter space. Uh, you've got your, your mirror up here. You've also got places to put your um, toothbrush, deodorant, whatever you want. You've got your sink. You've also got a huge walk-in shower. We've also got more storage here for towels and whatever you want up here. We've got a dedicated heat duct, so you're not going to be cold in here. We've also got a place to put more towels and some more stuff. That's all. And I love the fact you have that small fan. I see so many of these campers are putting the big fan in here. The problem with that, you got to have a window or door open. If it's cold or hot out, you don't want to be bringing that stuff in. So I like the fact, because that just pulls this mist out if you're using it for the shower. And I like the fact that you have a shower curtain rod in there instead of that plastic door that goes across there. And now, is this that specially imported Italian tile around here? Yeah, it the is. Oh, that's awesome. They, they call that plastique, don't they? They do. Well, that's awesome. Check that out, folks, when you come to take a look at this unit. Now, Todd, I think another thing people are going to really like about this floor plan is the fact that you don't have, other than the, the door for the pantry, the other doors are pocket doors or barn doors, whatever you want to call them, so they're not in the way when they're open. And, and it really gives you an easy access to both the bedroom, or I mean the bathroom in the back, and also into the master bedroom. And I think it opens it up a little bit more, too. Yes, it so, does. So speaking of that, uh, let's go check out the bedroom. Okay. Because I think you guys did something unique with this bedroom. And folks, if you take a look at the way this wall is here in the kitchen, this will kind of give you an idea of what um, of uh, what what I'm going to be get going over with you. Yeah. Besides a queen bed now. So Todd, is this a residential queen or an RV queen? Yeah, this is a true residential queen. Your normal sheets and everything are going to fit on here. So that's that's a 60 by 80, folks. So the benefit to you there, if you want to take this mattress out of here, makes it much easier for you to uh, get another mattress in here. That is correct. Now, I see you have these little cubbies at the end. What are they for? Um, that's so you can access your phone. If you notice in the back, we've got USB chargers in there. So if you're... Uh, charging your tablet or your phone, you can access that at night or when your alarm goes off in the morning. We've also got hidden hinges on all of our cabinets, um, so it gives you a real clean look. One of the other unique things that we have in this bedroom is this chest of drawers, extra counter space, um, also this big cabinet here. Um, so it's going to give you a, a room to put more clothes in case you're going to do some extending camp, extended camping. That's awesome. And you do have 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. That is correct. Uh, windows which is really awesome on both sides of the bed. And of course, you have the TV location right there. You put that on a swivel. And of course, this is this is the part that's wired frame for the second AC. 
That is correct. Now, that second AC, is that one, is it going to be set up as a ducted, or is it going to be more like in a pop-up where it's just directing the air in here? That's going to be a free van. A free, here. perfect. Beautiful. Well, folks, what are you thinking about this floor plan? So there you have it, folks. This is a 2024 Cruiser. It's, by, it's a Cruiser RV. It's the Embrace Ultralight, the 26RB. You liking the floor plan? What do you think of the features? Um, comment down below, like, share the video, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.